Let resolution be your solution. And today we're discussing what makes people angry. And uh, our first caller on this is Chris. Hi there, Chris. You seem very calm and collected and easy going. Uh, surely it's not what makes you angry. No, no. I'll tell you, it's about my grandma. When she first asked me to go shopping for some stuff for her. Well, what happened? She wrote a list, right, and on the list it had shortbread, uh, bar sixers, uh, 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 Terry's wafers, uh, uh, Cornish wafers, and uh, Brillo pads, and uh, that kind of thing. And um, so I went to shop and did the best I could to get what she wanted, or close. Uh, so obviously I got a Kit Kat, for instance, instead of the Terry's wafer. Uh, also, there was humbugs on there as well, and uh, this kind of thing, you know, that you, you could half imagine that she would want. And uh, so I did my best. Anyway, when I got to her house, she, she had a look through what I bought, and she said, oh, how much is this? And I told her the price. She says, oh, that's a few shillings more than I was expecting. I, I, I should have sensed there was something going on. She mentioned shillings, the old uh, pre-decimal currency there. Yeah, that's right. We don't use dollars here, and uh, which is a relief, really, because uh, it would have been confusing enough. Oh, I did manage to get blue ribboned, which she'd also asked for. She's got a bit of a sweet tooth. I think it's the only one she's got left. Anyway, uh, she went into pantry and got a, a secret tin of money out and tipped it onto the table, and it were all threatening bits and pennies and all that kind of thing, shillings and uh, sixpences. Oh, my word. Did you think she was having a senior moment? Uh, well, when she seen what I brought, she was having a bit of a moment, but yeah. Anyway, she started to count it all out, and, and uh, she said to me, uh, uh, I'll tell you what made me think of this, really, because, uh, you, you know, discussing Doctor Who, it was like I had a time machine and tried to go back in time to get all these products that she wanted. Anyway, uh, obviously, a lot of them I couldn't. So, yeah, and uh, she started to count it all out, and uh, when she got a pile of uh, coins, she said, April Fool, and put a £20 note on the table. Well, I'm glad that she wasn't truly angry about uh, your shopping experience. I wondered if there was something going on that were a bit more funny. It took me ages to convince her that you couldn't get LucasAid on prescription. Have you ever been able to get LucasAid on prescription? No. So she's a bit of a character, my gran. And it was quite funny in the end. Thank you for your call. And our next caller on what makes you angry is George. How are you? Well, frankly, I, 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 I'm outraged, outraged, utterly, utterly dismayed with outrage. What seems to be causing the, the upset? Well, I went into a shop the other day and uh, I was going to buy a, a nice Christmas card for the, the lady of the house. And I saw this card and uh, there was a lady on the front cover with the glasses looking somewhat like a librarian. And she had one of those Christmas hats on, and I thought, a Christmas tree by either side of her. I thought, oh, this looks good. I opened it, and guess what it said inside? Well, I have no idea, but obviously it was something that ticked you off. It certainly was. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll open it now, and I'll, I'll uh, you, you'll be the judge. Well, I couldn't think what to get you for Christmas, so I had a little wee. I mean, what on earth does this mean? I, I, the standards are falling in public life. It's not even whimsy. Well, uh, I think you better calm yourself down before you have a little uh, episode there. But thank you for your call. Let resolution be your solution. And our next caller on the subject of uh, being annoyed, uh, being irritated, being furious is Fergal. What makes you furious, Fergal? I tell you now, what gets me angry is this. It's a, to, to do with the fact that you see the phone calls from the guy who's incredibly angry from Portsmouth. The guy who's incredibly angry from Portsmouth. Let me think. Who do you mean uh, there, Fergal? You seem absolutely uh, beside yourself with anger about this. I'm not incredibly angry. I'm not as angry as him. Now, he rings up all the time and talks about politics. You must know who I mean. Colin. Colin from Portsmouth. Colin from Portsmouth. Now then, I don't, I don't think we 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 we've got uh, we've got quite a number of callers, but I don't recall a Colin from Portsmouth at all. We 
you must do. He's always saying, uh, you know, be kind to the family or some sort of nonsense like that. I mean, we're all family people. He's trying to come across as a nice guy. And to me, it's, it's just a pretense. The guy's absolutely out of control. He's outraged, just so he is. You don't appreciate that kind of anger being displayed on the radio. No, the radio's a gentle medium. It's, it's for kind and easygoing people. You know, it's like a... It's, it's, it's a pleasant thing of the... Almost of the past. You know, I think it should be dealt with in decorum and, and uh, handled in a much more respectful manner. So I do. Well, thank you for your opinion, Fergal. I hope you'll call again. Furious as you may be. And our next caller is Di. And what made you angry? Oh, well, I wouldn't say I was angry so much as it. Just uh, bemused. What was it that bemused you? Well, this chap came up to He knocked on my door. He says to me, I'm, uh, I understand Wales. This is a very touristy place. I'm looking for this place, Arafslow. Araf slow. What did you say? I said to him, well, take your time, it's just round the corner. I must admit, I do get a bit confused with uh, Welsh place names, like uh, that place clan didn't know how to pronounce it. Oh, that's very naughty of you, isn't it? Well, perhaps only a hiddig, uh, but uh, our next caller is purple with rage, and it's uh, Keith. I'll tell you what made me angry when I was about 28 and I realised that my face suddenly got taller. I'm sorry, I don't really understand what you mean. Your face got longer? I mean, it reminds me of the old joke about the horse that's a bit upset and goes in a bar. And the barman says, why the long face? What do you mean, Keith? Yeah, it used to be from me, my chin and my fringe. Now it's got a lot further back, that's all. Well, Keith, I'm a little bit concerned for your state of mind there. Perhaps a long sit down, perhaps in a hairdresser's chair, and contemplate how much you're going to save on haircuts over the coming years. Anyway, thanks for your call. Let resolution be your solution. And our next caller on things that make you an ang a bit angry, annoyed, irritated is Arthur. Arthur, you've been quiet lately. What's what's on your mind? Oh, well, I'll tell you what made me angry. I, I have a friend, right? And he, uh, he got into the golf, right? He enjoyed uh, Nick Faldo and people like that. And he, uh, he says to me, he says, oh, yeah, oh, well, I'll tell you what it was. So I went right to the golf club. You went round to the golf club. What, for a few drinks? Yeah, the day that my mates had had a game of golf that day, and uh, I thought, so, fair enough. I was, uh, but I, I had a good play, so I joined them for a, for a, for a, a swift shandy, shall we say, in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the 19th hole. Anyway, uh, as I walked in, I heard my mate, he says, I've a hole in one. So I said, yeah, I'll get you a drink for that. He says, oh, oh OK, he uh, just accepted the drink and everything. And then he said, uh, the other one's OK. And I said, what are you talking about? He says, me golf shoes. He says, I've got a hole in one, but the other one's perfectly fine. I said, flip it, I've just bought you a drink. I mean, what sort of a con is that? He says, well, people fall for it half a daily. I said, half a daily? You'll have a full daily if you're not careful. Anyway, <laughs> we had a laugh about it afterwards. So basically you fell into the trap and didn't have your uh, seven iron to get you out of there. To Sandwich. No, no, I'm not very angry at the moment. I, I was talking about the golf. No, I mean the club that he used to get out of the bunker. The sand trap. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, sandwich. Uh, anyway, a bit of a balls up on my part. Never mind. I enjoyed the drink after all. Thank you for your call. If you like this channel, like and subscribe our page. Share it with your friends. Uh, if you understand the underlying message here, which is about entertainment and fun, keep smiling, then continue to stay with us. I look forward to interacting with you in the future.